My name is Rich Roll, and I am an ultra endurance athlete. I'm a vegan. I am a husband and a father to four children. Uh, I also uh, am a practicing attorney. In 2009, Men's Fitness Magazine named him one of the 25 fittest guys in the world. He has been interviewed and featured on CNN on several occasions and invited by the network to write about his inspiring journey of self-awareness and health built on a plant-strong diet. Within two years, Rich Roll had transformed himself from a miserable 40-year-old in the worst shape of his life to an extraordinary vegan athlete competing in the ultra-challenging Ultraman World Championships and placing third overall in all Americans. So in the wake of changing my diet, that's when I began the process of getting back in, in shape and uh, competing again. But it really began with changing the diet. Just before Supreme Master Television visited Rich and his family in their gorgeous home, he and fellow vegan endurance athlete, Jason Lester, had just completed the Epic Five Challenge, an unprecedented athletic and spiritual odyssey that involves not one, but five separate grueling triathlons on Hawaii's five islands. That's five 2.5 mile swims, five 112 mile bike rides, and five 26.2 mile runs in the span of five consecutive days. Perhaps PETA said it best, Superman is vegan. Thanks Supreme Master TV for coming out to talk to us today. It's a pleasure to have you. Today on the second of our two-part feature on Mr. Rich Roll, we will continue our conversation with the quiet spoken champion and learn about the diet that progresses his athletic performance and enables him to compete in these superhuman endurance trials. He shows us that nothing is impossible on the vegan diet. How did it all start for you? Why did you decide one day to, okay, I'm going to start training? Well, I was an athlete in college. I was a competitive swimmer at Stanford and um, had done quite well and, and loved being a swimmer. I'd been a swimmer my whole life. But when that chapter ended and, you know, my college career was over, then that was kind of it for competitive sports for me for a long time. Life intervenes and it becomes about your family and your career and that's kind of what my focus was for a long time. And, uh, you know, I was turning 40, it was the eve of my 40th birthday and I was very overweight, very out of shape. I was weighing about 208 pounds at that time. So not like a super obese guy, but, you know, very overweight for me and, you know, winded going up and down the stairs. So in order for me to really enact any kind of like lasting lifestyle change, I had to do something kind of drastic. And so with the help of my wife and, and uh, you know, her encouragement, I did a seven day fruit and vegetable juice cleanse, which was something I'd never done before. I never had even really thought of doing before. Um, but that was an incredible experience and, uh, you know, after being on just liquids basically for a week, um, I felt so good when I was done with that that I was ready to, you know, really address my diet and do something different. So the first thing I did was I started eating vegetarian, but I just thought, well, I'm halfway there. Why don't I just try a vegan diet, see how that feels, um, you know, which, which meant cutting out all animal products out of my diet, you know, no more milk, no more cheese. I never thought in a million years it was something that I would be doing or interested in doing, but I gave it a shot. And I think at the time it was almost to like prove that it wouldn't work for me. But what happened was, was within seven to 10 days of doing this, I just, I really felt a tremendous increase in my energy. I felt really good and uh, it just kind of built from there. So I stuck, I've stuck with it ever since. So in the wake of changing my diet, that's when I began the process of getting back in, in shape and, and, and uh, competing again. But it really began with changing the diet. The Plant Strong Diet powered Rich to compete in the Ultraman World Championships after just a few months of training. He sheds light on how vegetarianism improved his athletic training. 
I think that uh, there's a lot of misconception in our culture specifically about what kind of foods you need to eat to be an athlete. There is some truth that yes, you need protein in order to rebuild your muscles from training, etc. But I think that there is a you know way to do that on a plant-based diet in such a way that actually can improve athletic performance. For example, I believe that my plant-based diet allows my body to recover more quickly in between training sessions. Mm -hmm. And as an athlete, the more quickly you can recover, the harder you can train and the better you're going to get over time. So I think that it's been actually a great benefit to me in that respect. This aspect definitely proved helpful for Rich when he competed in the 2009 Ultraman. Even after crashing his bike on the second day, he picked himself up and pushed forward with the competition. Despite injury, Rich had an incredible finish, placing sixth overall. What do you do to recover quickly? Uh, we try to eat a 100% uh, a whole food, plant-based diet which means trying to not eat you know, too many, if any, processed foods. Uh, eating foods that are alkaline forming, in other words, that properly balance your body's pH, because a lot of the foods, especially dairy and meat products, um, are acidic in nature or prompt an acidic response in your body, and that creates an inflammatory response, which impedes recovery, makes you feel tired, etc. cetera. So it's, it's, it's about eating an alkaline diet or an alkaline forming diet. And the best way to achieve that is through eating plant-based, um, plant-based diet, a lot of greens, we eat a lot of kale, uh, a lot of broccoli, a lot of all, all different kinds of greens. It's a big part of our diet. Are you now ready for some diet tips from a champ? When we return after this short message, Rich reveals what he eats in a typical training day. You are watching Vegetarian Elite, on Supreme Master Television. This is Rich Roll saying, be veg, go green to save the planet. Welcome back to Vegetarian Elite and our two-part special program on plant-powered ultra-endurance athlete, Rich Roll. So how is it a day of yours like? What would you eat from the morning to the night? If I'm doing a training session in the morning, if it's a short one, sometimes I'll just go out and, and you know train without eating anything. But if it's gonna be a longer, like a long bike ride or something like that, I'll make a Vitamix smoothie in the morning that has some endurance boosting foods in it, superfoods like chia and maca, uh, beets and some kale and uh, maybe some coconut milk and some Vega whole food optimizer, which has a lot of your daily uh, vitamins and minerals in it. Um, not a big breakfast, you know, maybe some toast with almond butter to get me going. And then my, my recovery nutrition after I've finished a workout um, is all about replenishing my glycogen stores and then getting enough protein in my body so it can repair itself. And so I'll have a Vitamix with different kinds of plant-based proteins like hemp protein, pea protein, uh, brown rice protein. Um, and I think that there's a lot of confusion about plant-based proteins. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, these plants actually do have protein and, and you can get enough protein from eating them to, you know, be an athlete and sustain yourself. Physician and nutrition expert, Dr. Michael Clapper, further explains the truth of the protein myth. If you're eating whole plant foods, there's no way not to get enough protein. Any whole plant food, any tomato, any ear of corn, any green bean, is anywhere between 8 to 12 percent protein. I mean, if you get your 2,000 calories a day from whole plant foods, no matter what they are, fruits, vegetables, grains, etc., you're going to be getting your 40 or 50 grams of protein. I've been a physician almost 40 years. I've never seen anyone walk in the office with a diagnosis of protein deficiency. Even these long-term vegans, it's not really an issue. 
plant proteins are, in fact, superior to animal-derived proteins. A varied vegan diet, like the one Rich shared with us, improves one's health, vitality, and longevity. Renowned nutrition expert, physician, and author, Dr. Joel Fuhrman agrees. If we mix the greens and the beans now with nuts and seeds, right? Almonds, cashews, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, they have almost magical superfoods, protective compounds, that prevent against cardiac arrhythmias, irregular heartbeats. They lower your cholesterol. They make people live longer. They prevent sudden cardiac death. They stabilize the brain. They also make the protein very complete. Don't forget, green vegetables are high in protein. That's how come gorillas, hippopotamus, rhinoceros, elephant, and giraffes get so big, because they eat green vegetables, they eat a lot of protein. But here you have the protein packaged with lots of micronutrients, with the phytochemicals, with the antioxidants, with the things that make the body age slower, and we keep our youthfulness, our vigor, and our good health into later years. Authenticity speaks louder than words, and everything that I've been trying to do is, is really an effort to just be my more authentic self, you know, to try to connect more deeply to the things that move me, that I'm passionate about, and that I love, and then to share my, you know, feelings and emotions and my truth and my experience in, in doing that. And I think that that resonates with a lot of people, you know, because if you're speaking from the heart, if you're speaking your truth or you're living your truth, uh, you know, that is like a magnet for the universe that, you know, people are attracted to that. So future projects are building Jai Lifestyle um, and producing our retreats, which I'm very excited about, uh, and then training and racing. Um, those are really the focus. So getting the nutrition products out, getting the cookbook out, and being prepared for Ultraman in November for a great performance and seeing what the world has to offer. So I'd really like to expand my uh, wellness advocacy and do public speaking engagements and the more that I can like motivate and spread the word to help people make healthier choices about their diet and their activities that that's something that I really want to move into as much as I can. Rich and I are going to join together and spread this message of wellness and um, giving people an example how to refine their environment and their physical body and their spiritual body so that they can hear who it is that they were designed to be. They can hear their own voice, their highest self. And if creation wants that, then we're ready. <laughs> but I also know that um, it may not be the case. So whatever it is, I am in service to that consciousness. During our day spent with Rich and his family, he conveyed a warm message to Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you, Supreme Master. Appreciate the love and the beauty that you spread. We send our gratitude to Mr. Rich Roll for inspiring many on this path of well-being simply by living as a shining example of health and integrity through the humane vegan diet. We wish you continued success on your journey of self-realization and spirituality. Visit www.richroll.com to learn more about Rich Roll's adventures and vegan ventures. Information on Jai Lifestyle, along with Rich and Julie's vegan cookbook, Jai Seed, can be found at www.jai-lifestyle.com.
brilliant viewers, we appreciate your company today on Vegetarian Elite. Please come back to join us on Friday, November 19th, as Rich, Julie, and the rest of the family share a recipe and a sneak peek of their newly released vegan cookbook, Jai C. Coming up now is between Master and Disciples, here on Supreme Master Television. May your day be filled with laughter and the blessed company of loved ones. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE. And in that moment, I really felt.